Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I want to talk about this new plugin that came out from Clang Helm. Now, this is a new compressor plugin called the MJUC Junior. You guys do not know how many times I've had to repeat that to say it properly. Um, and this is based off of a variable compressor topology, not to be confused with the Verimu compressor, which is a compressor by Manly. He says that very specifically in the uh, website. But anyway, let's get straight into this. This is the uh, Junior, which is the uh, little version, the free version of the big one which I have not bought yet, but I'm probably going to buy. Anyway, this thing's pretty cool. And like all plugins from Klanghelm, if you want to like do a bypass, a soft bypass, you just got to click on the window. Um, if you click on the little uh, GR button, you can get the output or the gain reduction. You have your compress or your makeup, which kind of reminds me of a uh, LA-2A. Um, you have three variable time consistence. You have fast, uh, slow, and auto. Fast is basically fast attack, fast release. Slow is slow attack. Uh, slow release and auto is fast attack auto release um when you click on the clang helm button you get to have a little bit of control over what type of uh, preferences you like on certain things it's pretty basic and it's pretty pretty cool though it's really powerful now i genuinely really like this plugin i think it sounds really cool it has a nice color to it and has a really nice body so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys on a vocal part right here let me see if i let me make sure i brought the right part so it's gonna be right here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna listen without it and you're going to listen to uh, this vocal, and I'm going to play this back for you real quick. Basically, you're going to hear that it, it steps as he goes up and down on the uh, on his Oz. It's like it sounds like he's stepping, like it, like I'm using a um, a stepped uh, a preamp. So let me play this right now, and I'll show you how it sounds solo, and then in the mix. <laughs> So as you can hear from that, that was kind of obvious. It was like, it kind of changes very dynamically and dramatically. So now I'm going to show you and listen for that in the mix. Now in the mix, it doesn't really get in the way as much, but it is noticeable and I find it to be a little bit distracting and sounding a little bit less than a professional. So all I did with this, right, was I kind of slapped it on and I went too fast because I noticed that those transits were kind of fast and I kind of just dialed in the compression as I went along. And let me show you how it sounds like now. <laughs> Much smoother. And if you don't remember how it sounds like, let's play it back now without it. I think especially on the second one, it's really noticeable. Well, without it, and then I'll bring it back in. With it. And it doesn't really destroy the actual character. All it's really doing is it's... um. It's uh, basically really taming it. And I'm sorry if I keep like going through this like weird thing where I'm bringing this up and down, but I've been using Studio One Pro a lot lately, um, and I'm really used to the new hotkeys. So I'm just kind of like getting back into the Pro Tools vibe. So we're just going to do this, and we're going to fix this, uh, this fade in real quick like that. I don't really like that, uh, that breath. I think it didn't sound very natural, so. And without it. So again, I mean, this is a really, really subtle thing, but let's listen to this in the mix with it and then without it, and I hope you guys can see what I mean. And then without it. You can especially hear it right here, and I'll play this for you right now. It's much smoother, and honestly, I love it. I love this, how it's just so easy to just dial in a perfect setting. Now, you can really experiment with these attack times. Um, I find that fast is just cool because I kind of have a little bit of, like, aggression to it. Slow is really cool for, like, when I want to just increase the body of something. And auto, I haven't really messed with much. Honestly, I'm not a fan of doing auto things. But this is a great plugin, and this is free. So if you guys are looking for a fantastic colored compressor that adds a nice little warmth to it, definitely try out this Clang Helm plugin. Um, I love Clang Helm plugins in general. And this is something I'm definitely going to have to pick up because this thing sounds really, really cool. So that's it for today's video. Um, I am going to be working on the stuff that I was asked to do as far as the uh, last video doing a 
mixing a vocal and showing how to like mix it with the beat and stuff but this just came out and i kind of wanted to do this really quickly um i'm gonna be working on that maybe this week and i'll have it probably out by the end of this week so hope you guys like this definitely check this out this is free and it's in all platforms except for reason and yeah that's it see you guys later thanks for watching bye